You're watching Fox 13 News. Let's connect. In just a few days, the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus will hit store shelves. Both T-Mobile and Sprint say pre-orders are through the roof. And this week, Apple stock is up nearly 10%. If you aren't already, if you're, but if you're not quite ready to drop a few hundred dollars for an upgrade, Mary Maloney shows us something else you can do to transform your iPhone. Hey, hi, hello. People seem to be all about Apple. Pre-sales for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are the biggest in T-Mobile's history. The demand around the iPhone 7 is just incredible. At Sprint, pre-sales are up more than 375% in the first three days, compared to the time they released the 6S last year. Both offer promotions to receive a new 7 free. Of course, you have to trade in an eligible phone and sign a two-year contract. If you want to keep your phone or simply don't have an extra 650 bucks around, install the new operating system, iOS 10. You can see headlines, your calendar, the weather, even pending Amazon orders without unlocking your phone. Speaking of unlocking, no more swiping. Now just press the home screen. Messages also get a big upgrade. Doodles, bouncing text bubbles, animations, and more. All to make messages more expressive. And you can filter through your photos to search for faces, dates, or locations, which is similar to Google Photos. You may want to wait to download iOS 10 until the first minor update, just so you miss a few known bugs. But if you need this now, go to Settings General Software Update to get the new software. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. Some iPhone users who downloaded the iOS 10 software yesterday are saying it locked up their phones and iPads. They call it bricking, which refers to an issue that blocks access to your phone with a black screen. If this happens to you, plug your phone into iTunes to restore the system. A contest to see who can chug the most milk. It's not just for bragging rights, let's hope not. We'll show you why these guys are doing it. Yeah, I tried that once. Later in sports, week three's on the horizon. We'll check in with both the Aggies and Utes. And don't forget about RSL playing a different kind of football. They're right back in the playoff mix with five games left. Back in a bit.